Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a flash drive for Windows 10 setup. Uh, in the previous video, we have seen that how we can create a flash drive for Windows 8 setup. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a flash drive for Windows 10 setup. And that flash drive you can use to install the Windows 10 on any computer system. So uh, first of all, you need to open the any browser to create the flash drive and uh, just write down on a, uh, any search engine like Google or Bing that uh, media creation tool okay media creation tool for windows 10 for windows 10 okay because i'm going to create the media creation tool for windows 10 and open the first link uh, which will give you the uh, installation steps uh, which will give you the link to download that particular tool now uh, it's the same steps only last time like we were going in the windows 8 section now right now we need to go into the windows 10 section and we need to download this particular tool so click on this download tool now okay and related to windows 10 licensing you just need to read this uh, instruction you have a license to install windows 10 or are upgrading pc from windows 7 to windows 8.1 you need to reinstall windows 10 on pc if you already successfully activated windows 10 so i have downloaded the media creation tool and i'm going to open that media creation tool for windows 10 so this tool has been downloaded and i'm going to start this particular software <coughs> okay so as i'm going to read the terms and condition of uh, uh, it's uh, just read the terms and condition be, uh, of Microsoft before accepting the terms and condition. Click on next. Now there are two options. Either you can upgrade this PC to uh, Windows 10 or if you want to install uh, Windows 10 on another PC then you need to select this option. So first of all, I'll, I'll show you how you can create the flash drive to set up the Windows 10. But to my, uh, for my computer setup, I'm going to select this option upgrade to this PC now because my Windows 8 is activated. So I don't want to set up the Windows 10 from the flash drive. Otherwise, my Windows 10 will be not activated. So I'm going to just upgrade the PC only. So as I in this video, I'm going to show you how you can cre cre create a flash drive for another PC. So I'm going to select this option installation, uh, installation media from USB. Now click on next. Now select the version, uh, uh, which, uh, select, uh, select the language edition and architecture of Windows 10 setup. So uh, I want the English United States edition will be Windows 10. Yes. And I need a 64 bit architecture, which is recommended uh, for this particular PC. And I'm going to use the flash drive. At least I need the 8 GB. So I have more than 8 GB. So it will be fine. And I'm going to use the app drive, which is uh, which flash drive, which I have attached in my computer. So now it has started the downloading of Windows 10 setup in the. So it will collect the like the same Windows 8 setup. It will collect the necessary installation file and uh, it will copying into the flash drive. So as the progress has been made and I'm going to pause this video because it will continue the uh, based on your internet speed. It will download the necessary uh, file and the progress will made from 1% to 100%. So I'm going to forward this video. Okay, so currently like 97% progress has been made and uh, the download is about to finish. 98% uh, 99% Okay, so download has been completed 100% and now it's actually doing the verifying of the download before it's copying the file into the flash drive. So I'm going to forward this video. Okay, so the flash drive has been ready now. And like the Windows 8 setup, we are going to boot uh, uh, our setup from the flash drive. 
so and uh, to change the boot order uh, i'll show you how you can go into the bios system and you can change the boot order of your computer system and windows 10 setup will be start so if you start the windows 10 setup from the flash drive or uh, uh, if you just start the media creation tool and upgrade this pc uh, you'll going to get the same steps okay so uh, for lap for hp the f10 is the key to enter into the bias system so i have pressed the f10 key and as you can see i am into the bias uh, systems of uh, hp laptop and i want to change the boot order actually so i am going into the system configuration navigating my selection to the boot option with the arrow key i am going to click uh, i am going to hit enter and as you can see there is a boot order now os boot manager is the first one then the internal cd drive uh, you can means if you have a bootable cd rom also from there also you can start the setup as we have uh, as we have uh, created usb so i'm going to select the usb now usb dis dis disket on key or usb hard disk actually so if you have a usb hard drive uh, if you plug that then you need to make that as a first order as I have created the USB CD-ROM, so uh, I'm going to highlight that uh, USB CD-ROM. And as you can see, to make a changes, uh, here it's mentioned F5 or F6. So I'm going to press F5. Okay, it's going down actually, and I want to uh, go up. I want to move that USB to the first, so I'm going to click uh, F6. Now it's going up. Now as you can see, the, the USB uh, drive is the first boot. Uh, option so whenever i start the computer first of all if the usb drive is connected it will try to start computer from the usb drive as we have created our usb drive as a bootable so it will start the setup of windows i'm going to exit from the system and yes i want to save this setting so now the uh, it's going to start the it's going to restart the laptop and it will it will start boot from the usb drive so i'm going to click on the next and uh, i'm going to keep the selection to upgrade this pc now okay so download and the validation has been completed and now actually windows is preparing for uh, doing the windows stand setup 63% completed 76 and probably it will restart computer so I just want to oh no it's actually checking for updates okay it is checking uh, my PC configuration and So I'm actually doing the PC upgrade setup. That's why this step is up happening. But if you start the boot from the USB drive, uh, you will get the Windows 10 setup screen from the boot screen. Okay, so it's asking to read the terms and condition of Windows 10. So I'm going to accept it. Okay, so now the updates have been uh, checking updates has been completed. Now I complete the the installation is actually checking that my uh, the windows drive has the enough space to do the windows 10 upgrade okay so now windows 10 is ready to install and uh, uh, it's going to in install the windows 10 home and it's going to keep my file so i'm going to click on install okay so it's installing the windows 10 on my computer and the uh, it's mentioned that my pc will uh, restart several times so i'm going to save this video so as you can see the progress is actually increasing right now it's on 28 percent okay so now it's it's saying that my pc will restart uh, in a few moments so i think my pc is going to restart okay so my computer is restarting now uh, for Windows 10 continue setup
okay so it's uh, booting up again okay so 10 percent uh, of windows 10 update has been completed and uh, we might need to wait a couple of more minutes and i think after certain startup the pc will restart also as it's mentioned that pc will restart several times so uh, just wait and uh, let uh, windows 10 to continue to set up okay okay so my computer has been restarted after 27 percentage of installation and it's uh, going to restart and it's going to continue the windows 10 setup okay so it's continuing the continuing the remaining setup right now it's 30 percent and it's uh, progressing 33 percent has been completed okay so setup uh, has been completed 94 percent and okay so it's uh, I'm going to click on next going to accept the terms and condition for the location service and speech recognition and uh, this is regarding the Cortana setup so that's not uh, the Cortana apps non, I'm not going to set up right now I'm going to click next and it's finalizing the settings Okay, so looking like the Windows 10 upgrade has been completed and it's asking to log in and I'm going to give my username and password. So it is still working on a setup and it will take several minutes as it's showing on the screen. Okay, so looking like the Windows 10 setup has been completed. And I have logged into the Windows 10 PC info actually. So I just want to check my Windows activation and the my Windows is activated. So I have a Windows 10 and I just want to see the setups uh, upgrade if, if if it's there any upgrade I just want to check so if any upgrades need to happen windows upgrade Okay, I just want to see is there any updates available for latest Windows 10 setup. Okay, so this is the installation of Windows 10. I hope I hope you like the video. Thank you. Bye bye.